So today we're going to be replacing the pads on a set of SRAM brakes, but changing pads on Shimano and many other brake bands is, is pretty similar. So the tools we'll be using today are a pair of needle nose pliers, a two and a half mil Allen key, a disc brake spreader tool, but alternatively you can use plastic tire levers, and I'll also be giving the brakes a bit of a clean with disc brake cleaner while we're at it. So the first thing to do is to remove the C-clip from the pad retaining pin with the needle nose pliers and then we can remove the pad retaining pin with the two and a half mil allen key. Now Shimano brakes are slightly different and their retaining pin is usually a split pin which you can remove just simply with the needle nose pliers. So now we just need to push the pistons back in, we need to reset the pistons. So I'm gonna use the pad removal tool. You can do this with the pads in and just wiggle it backwards and forwards until you get the, get the pistons back in. Now we'll take the pads out, we just grip them with the fingers and they just slot straight out. Now we've got the old pads out, I'm gonna fit some new ones. These are SRAM brake pads. They come in three parts. So we've got the the pads themselves and then the pad spring. So we just put the pad spring so that it sits either side of the braking surface, same with the top, squeeze them together and then just pop them in. Then fit the pad retaining pin. This one screws in with a two and a half mil Allen key. And with these then, don't forget to refit, refit the C-clip. So now we've got the pads in place, all we need to do is refit the wheel and give it a quick test. And there we have brand new pads all ready to go. Well, I hope you found this video useful. Please like and subscribe for more content like this.